I'm Morris Jones. Tonight at 10, new developments after that deadly shootout at the Census Bureau. The gyrocopter that landed at the U.S. Capitol. Yet another scandal for the Secret Service. Another week, another breach. Hackers traced to China targeted tens of thousands of federal employees who applied for top secret security clearance. What can you tell us about the investigation? But I can tell you the most important piece is that no personal identification information was, uh, was uh, compromised. MI5 Director General Jonathan Evans made a rare public speech on this topic. He has grave concerns about what he calls state-sponsored cyber espionage. Do you share those concerns? Absolutely. The difference between espionage and planning malware uh, in a control system uh, may just be a couple of keystrokes. My answer is bring them on. Do you think your comments when you said bring it on actually incited more violence in Iraq? No. It is an absolute disastrous mess. New details are emerging about that deadly train derailment in the heart of Philadelphia. A short time ago, the NTSB confirmed the train was traveling more than 100 miles an hour just before it crashed. A scary sight. A pillar of smoke could be seen for miles around the district, rising from behind the Capitol building. Historic Frager's Hardware Store, where presidents shopped, an institution on Capitol Hill up in flames. More than 100 firefighters battled the four-alarm blaze this evening, and tonight, the 93-year-old store is gone. Robert Lyles joins us live from the scene in Southeast. Robert? Morris Jones live on Capitol Hill battling the elements for us this morning. Good morning <laughs> to you, Morris. Hey, good morning, guys. It's nice to hear from you. Uh, big voter turnout yesterday. Luckily, here in Washington, it was dry weather. There are some 500 international marriage brokers, most with websites. Lana married the man who brought her to America. She says she was later subjected to sexual and mental abuse. And didn't he say something to the effect that you're the most expensive toy I've ever owned. Yes, he said it was a very expensive toy for him. Lana is now divorced, still in America. She got help from the Tahare Justice Center outside of Washington, D.C. Flight attendants, parking attendants, bridal attendants. By definition, they're helping you, unlike automated attendants, which annoy you. I'm Caitlin, XM's automated attendant. When you hear your option, you can say it. It's okay if you interrupt me. Yes, do interrupt. So the first thing is I try zero or zero pound or pound zero or zero star, just anything to try to interrupt it. Many times that will put you direct to cue to a human if you don't want to sit there and punch buttons all day. Thank you for calling Pepco. We are currently experiencing a high volume of calls, which may result in a longer wait time. Businesses are saving time and money by outsourcing. American companies are expected to send one and a half million U.S.-based call center jobs to other countries, according to the Trade Union Congress of the Philippines. Many times the people who are answering the phone may be fluent in English, but they don't understand the nuances of our life over here. I called about my XM radio account and became a world traveler without leaving the office. Where are you? Um, we're located in Manila, sir. Oh, you're in Manila? Sir. Oh, great. How's the weather in Manila today? It's fine, sir. When the Manila customer service rep learned I wanted to cancel my account, he directed me elsewhere. Okay, I'm Morris. How are you doing today? Fine. Where are you located? I'm located in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Well, Montego Bay, Jamaica. I just talked to somebody in Manila. Bottom line, XM convinced me not to cancel my subscription by offering a couple of months free. Companies are not praised as much for services as they used to be. So what can you do about it? Call and complain? I'm sorry, I'm having trouble finding your account. And I'm Morris Jones in Washington.